Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. This is a little bit of a milestone. If we win this one, we will have won 35 out of our last 36 runs. That's pretty impressive. Oh, our stats are bad, but we start with chocolate milk and the poop. 3 JKC LA28. Um, I don't know how to feel about this run right now, but it's gotten almost like a little bit of a Gungeon vibe in the sense that, um... Wait, why is this poop in particular the one that we're gonna shoot? That's a great question. It's got a little bit of a, a Gungeon vibe in the sense that, you know, with a weapon like the Heroin, we can walk into a room and just, uh, you know, take one big shot, eliminate one enemy, and then figure out how the rest of the room's gonna go. It's very much like how this feels right now. I don't want to take this pill yet, because it's a little... It's not like it's a bad run, it appears, it's just like, let's minimize the possibilities for this to go terribly wrong, right? Well, if we kill the flies, they're not coming back from that, so... Kill the flies, get these guys, and one bomb gives me a lot of safety, but we didn't get a bomb yet. I would take, you know, we're in a lucky position where it doesn't really matter what's inside of that polymorphic tinted rock. If it's uh, two spirit hearts, beautiful. If it's a golden chest, we can open it. We'd be less happy about it. And if it's a bomb, no problem. For now, let's head down here. One bomb does give us a lot here. That is not going to be one bomb, though. That's going to be little Loki. What is going on in Skype here? I don't even know what this guy's talking about. What's the deal with this guy uploading NLSS shows to YouTube comments and rating our disabled? Does he even have permission to do this? Oh, it's just, you know, it's somebody that uploads unofficial NLSS archives. I shouldn't have even talked about it in his YouTube videos. Now people are going to be like, whoa, that's weird. Honestly, doesn't bother me. Um, I have uh, other things to worry about. People, like, steal your content all the time on YouTube. But the thing is... Like, the content is the easy part. Is the, you know, having people watch it, that's the hard part. Honestly, this person is doing a little bit of a service. Because I, uh, sometimes the Twitch export is broken. Sometimes I'm broken. And I don't upload the NLSSs in a timely fashion. I'm not saying 100% I condone it, but I'm not gonna, you know, beat myself up over it. It's like there was, like, a lot of messages in Skype and I wanted to check it. That was unprofessional. I apologize. Got Lemon Party here. It happens sometimes people will be like, you know, whoa, NL, check out this channel. They, like, stole all your videos. And I'm like, well, they get the no viewers. Like, if, if they started taking my audience with my own content, I'd be a little bent out of shape. But and I understand, you know, you're trying to, like, you know, look out for a content creator that you, uh, that you enjoy the work of. But for the most part, you're like, honestly, like, I'm not saying do it, but I'm not going to issue a takedown notice, uh, for somebody who was getting like one view and is probably also a robot anyway. Anyway, this is a weird topic for discussion, but I was just making sure that uh, everything was cool on the Skype department. We got two bombs here. Um, there was a Tinted Rock available, so yeah, let's get that first. This is like our number one priority. It is a golden chest, unfortunately, but if it takes us over five cents, that's no problem. We are going to get to seven. And we got two bombs back. So now we'll absolutely be able to get this Eternal Heart. And I guess we can get that Tarot card if we want. And we're going to check this out. Do we care about a secret room? Maybe, like, not that much. Uh, this is great. I mean, Little Loki's not that good. But honestly, Torn Photo is, like, very solid. Oh, that was just fantastic. The World card. Let's use it on the next floor. We've already finished with this floor, and let's head on here. Pop the... Uh, we'll pop it from... In, no, we won't pop it from inside of the curse room, because the secret room could have been inside of the curse room here. Just to be clear, people ask me, like, uh, let's let's consider this, like, a blanket uh, usage of this. I'm going to stick with Demon Tail over the Broken Ankh for now. I get emails sometimes where people are like, hey, NL, like, I'm making a, a series, like, a retrospective on XCOM or something like that. Can I use your footage? Uh, I hesitate to give, like, a blanket yes, but I'm, like, always say yes as long as it's not like, hey, I'm gonna do, like, my video, or I'm gonna do, like, my commentary over top of your video. I think, I, I worry that maybe some, like, content creators are, like, really stingy with their stuff. They're like, no, you can't use my video for that. And I'm like, yo, dog. Let's be cool. We didn't make the game, man. We're just here, uh, you know, bullshitting over top of this. Sometimes it can be transformative. 
my videos are transformative in, in the way that I'm like, you know, in them. But uh, I, I don't think that I hold uh, necessarily IP dominion over the actual movements that I'm making in the game. But uh, that's like a copyright discussion that I don't even want to get into because it, it really is irrelevant to the purposes of our discussion right now. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Counterfeit Penny might be better than Demon Tail. This is going to be a very interesting deal with the devil because we really don't have... Um, by the way, I know I said Counterfeit Penny is better than Demon Tail, perhaps, and then I rolled with Demon Tail, but I'm hoping to maybe eke out, like, one more uh, black card out of this, or, or one black card out of this, for that matter. But um, it would be nice to have that happen. For now, though, our deal with the devil is very interesting for us. Oh, there's a sneeze coming on. I can feel it. It would be very interesting for us because it would be nice to uh, get to the point where maybe like we could get a high octane deal but also at the same time if there's a bad deal we're probably going to take it for precedent which is a little scary because our HP is not such that we'd be like you know thrilled to do it like I don't want to take a brother Bobby deal just to take it but I probably would because the deal with the devil tends to be you know that valuable good work okay Toothpicks is fantastic, getting a lot of stat upgrades. Ooh, this is like actually way worse. Because we won't have precedent and um, there's about a 50... Ah, uh, you know what? I, I've, I've gone back on my earlier claim that this is way worse because I'm actually completely okay. Oh lord. With the fact that we're getting an item we're actually going to use. Because the poop is obviously not going to be as good as Krampus' head. So we'll take Krampus' head. A little scary there. Um, and we did get a black heart from this. And we have a key now, so we can use that key to get into our shop. We got two of clubs, so we can double our bombs. But let's see. Uh, there's a key here. If you want to double bombs on this room, then we get a battery charge, a key. Eh, it's not. doesn't seem that worth it. It's a bit of a tough call here. I think we're just going to go. Yeah, I think we're just going to go. We're going to head down to the next floor. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, excuse me. Let's do it. I think that this is fairly survivable for at least the next few floors. Hopefully, at least. We can easily get into our mob trap room. Red chest, golden chest, red chest, golden chest. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm willing to take a lark on it. And we did go for uh, Demon's Tail. And Demon's Tail, actually, I have to assume, was the reason we got a black card there. So, I'm very for that. The rate of fire, thanks to our uh, toothpicks pickup, it, well, along with Torn Photo, of course, is actually awesome now. Starting to get a little bit of buyer's remorse on the whole, uh... Ooh, that sucks. Buyer's remorse on the whole Curse of the Tower thing. What makes you small is good, though. And... Friends till the end. Not worth it, but good to know, at least. Alright, still a decent amount of HP, but... We did lose the Demon Heart that we got from that. Uh... Okay, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna see if there's bombs in the chest. And there are not, so we're going to pop two of clubs, and we're going to hope for small rock or for some spirit hearts. Instead, we got consumables. It's the worst thing we could have gotten there, which is kind of a little petty to say, because we did, you know, improve ourselves by getting uh, a bomb and a key for the price of merely a bomb. But still, oh, that was real bad. Okay. Self, I'm going to need you to slow your roll a little bit. That would have been nice to actually be able to get. That's okay. We're taking some dumb damage, and unlike the last run, there actually is the potential uh, for this to... Uh, there is the potential for this to go south, and in a, in a sincere fashion. The path that's laid out before us for this to go wrong, not to insult those of you from the south, people are always, oh, it's gonna go south, you know? It's insulting if you're from, you know, somewhere that's on, not in the northern hemisphere, isn't it? Oh, I live in uh, Ecuador. Well, you know what? Stay out of this. You're right on the borderline. You live in Quito? That's real neato. Do you like the song by Lil Jon that goes skeet, skeet, skeet? Oh, I just made that up, but it does. I mean, maybe it's the greatest words that mankind has ever put to prose. Hematomesis. It's okay. Um, really, it's all about trying to make sure we get a deal with the devil or angel on this floor. And I'm hopeful that we have a pretty good shot to do so. This guy's got to go. I hate this room. You know, I talk about rooms that I hate a lot. This is up there. Oh, that's so bad. This is up there for this floor. Magic Mush. No, we got a pill. I think it's a bad pill, too. 
Oh, no, it's... It was in the room where we had bad trip, but it was not the bad trip pill itself. This is one makes you small, so we're getting... Whoa, real freaking tiny. That guy caught up to me in a fashion that I was quite surprised by. All right. I'm being very sincere here when I say, Self, stop being a freaking idiot. Come on. The real ticket for us here, how do we lose? Basically, just by not getting a deal with the devil, finding ourselves in that death spiral where we never get deals with the devil. 2020 is very helpful, of course. Um, and then just kind of fading away, you know, as in give me the people, as in free my soul. I want to get lost in the rock and roll, but not drift away. Thank God for Black Candle. Oh my God, does it remove Curse of the Tower? If it, rem if it removes Curse of the Tower... I'm going to be the happiest kid at the Christmas table this year. What's the Christmas table? It's a the classic Canadian uh, charcuterie platter that we have uh, every year around the Yule season. No, this is... I don't know what a Christmas table is. I just... It slipped out, okay? Let's do this. Black Candle 2020. Big plays. Probably the world's worst usage of Krampus's head that I can imagine. Hey, come on, buddy. Get your head in the game. Good work. Okay. No deal with the devil. Deservedly no deal with the devil. But we did also potentially not cost ourselves a deal with the devil because we got one on the last floor regardless. So, we're going to go Catacombs 2. And we're going to be testing... Ah! We're going to be testing Curse of the Tower. No, Curse of the Tower is definitely still active. Okay. So, that sucks. Black Candle does remove Cursed Eye. First mod, I make it Afterbirth Plus, man. Black Candle removes Curse of the Tower. Which is going to be different than a lot of first mods for Afterbirth Plus, which are just going to remove Curse of the Tower in general. No, I actually, I like Curse of the Tower as an item because it gives you that option to get, um, to, to take it if you want it. And if you don't want it, you don't have to take it. This is a situation in which I should not have taken it, for sure. Okay, man, Power Pill's good. Lemon Party's good. Puberty is fairly meaningless in this situation. In real life, it's a, of colossal importance. Um, Lemon Party, though, we can use uh, for a good purpose up here. At some point, I do think one makes you small actually reaches a level of um, destruction. Like, I think it becomes sort of bad and you can't see yourself very well. I'm really hopeful. Nope. I was going to say I'm really hopeful that we can get through this and get enough HP taken away to get into our mob trap room, boss trap room, but no such luck. Um, I don't know if we're at that level for one makes you small yet, but we are... A real a tiny on a novel level. I can't deny that. And I like it because we're, you know, little uh little tiny leprechaun here, but I also am noticing the fact that I'm slowly slipping away into just being like a single pixel on the screen here, and it frightens me a little bit. But not that much, not that much. Okay. Are we going to do boss rush here? Well, we sort of didn't do it on the last run, except we did. Like, we got soy milk, but we used forget-me-now, so we didn't fight on boss rush. But we also uh, didn't make it back to the second boss rush. Oh, Glitter Bombs is sweet. Assuming this actually works with Curse of the Tower, we've started to produce, like, a, a functional, productive Curse of the Tower synergy. Obviously, Pyromaniac or something like that is, like, heads and tails above everything else when it comes to that, but... You know, Sad Bombs also works. What would be the worst? And I would still take it because I'm an idiot, but Bomber Boy would definitely be the worst. Okay, the devil. Lament Party. Tell you what. Stain comes up, Stain goes down. I got hit there? I guess? Oh my god, wait. Glitter Bombs combined with Demon's Tail seem to do quite a lot for me there. Let's head down to the next floor. Maybe we already have something productive with Glitter Bombs, Demon's Tail, and Curse of the Tower. Is it possible that this is like the most roundabout but positive synergy I could have possibly imagined for myself? Suppose it's possible. Let's see if we get Demon Hearts here. No Demon Hearts. Okay, so it's not quite on the level of like walk into enemies deliberately and take damage in order to get Demon Hearts. We have reached that on, on many runs actually in the past, but... Maybe we're not quite ready for that, but if we get some luck upgrades, it's possible. Or if we get, like, um, Gimpy, it might be really helpful as well, but we'll, uh, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. 
For now, though, this is sweet. We're starting to build something that's more survivable. I, I feel like I played horribly on this run, but we're not being punished for it quite yet, which is great. Um, again, you know, it would be nice to donate. We're only on the Depths 1, so we theoretically have one extra floor before we need to worry about it. But I am probably going to bounce out of this floor um, right away to give us the best chance possible of getting Boss Rush. Especially because we've already been to our item room and, and seen our shop. So let's take Power Pill into the boss fight here. And we'll just pop that in there. We'll throw down a Glitter Bomb. Throw down another Glitter Bomb. Almost feel like best case scenario is just hit ourselves and then get Curse of the Tower to do our dirty work for us. But problem solved. Okay, a deal with the devil or angel, please. Hey, deal with the devil. Got another mom item, which actually did give us the mom transformation. And then we got the win. Guppy's head and mom's knife. With 2020. We'll take the hermit card with us. All right. HP, slightly dicey. Everything else coming up Millhouse. Oh, don't make me do it. Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. That's okay. That's okay. Demon hearts. I'm really glad I ran with uh, Demon Tail. By the way, are people telling me it's Damon Tail? How do you say it? Because it's... When I see... Anytime I see A and the E right next to one another, first, first off, I think, Oh my god, is there a new episode of Intervention on? It's a can't-miss television event of the summer season. But also, I think... Uh, see, the joke there is Intervention is a television program on A and E. That um, gives you a sobering picture of what addiction is life, or addiction is like. But also, I think that's like old English. It might not be literally like Beowulf old English, but it's is some old ass English, man. So, um, if you say it's pronounced Damon, I respect you. Thank you for founding my country along with the French. But at the same time, fuck off. It's Demon, okay? It's not Worcester sauce anymore. We've made it our own. It's Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> okay? I really thought Hematomesis might just work with um, Demon Tail and give us maybe a Demon Heart out of four or something, but... Okay, it's not Luffbro anymore, okay? It's Logabogoro. We're making the... We're taking the words that you made and we're perfecting them. We're making them easier to pronounce. It's not Darby anymore, all right? It's Derby. I'm being, like, mostly facetious here. Okay, Goathead. Goathead is good. As is this Isaac's room, if I'm being, like, extremely honest. I'm real stoked about this. We're just gonna execute this plan and then do it like that. Sweet. Oh, it's a clean Isaac's room as well. So we're gonna get three spirit arts for basically just putting our thumb up our own butthole. And then put this down here. Rarely do you seem to get a clean Isaac's room. I don't really want a black market, and it's just a crawl space. It's a crawl space with three cents. Allow me to be the world's most out of touch man and say that I don't care about three cents right now. Definitely get that penny though. That's essential. Um, that room was still fantastic. Two bombs for three spirit arts is a fantastic trade. Our shop is here. We're we're pretty much 100% on lock for boss rush. And then the Hermit card will take us to the shop. So why waste a key? We'll just go back and uh, walk this route afterwards anyway. I'm really surprised that we were fast enough to get out of the way there. And this is looking very strongly like win number 10 here. And that's, again, sure, it's a, a streak of 10 is not that impressive. A streak of 10 following a streak of 25 starts to feel pretty good. 35 out of 36 runs won. That's like a 90... 7.3% success rate or something stupid like that. I don't know. The math sucks. I totally don't practice doing mental arithmetic in my head just because it's fun, not because it necessarily provides me with any scientific societal benefit. God, why don't I... I want to take, like, a cool class. Math is stupid. Computers just do it all for us these days anyway. Alright. Mom's here. A mommy's here. That was not very good damage. Glitter bombs. Oh no. Oh, we got a demon heart. Oh my god. We're caught in the we're caught in the cycle. <laughs> We've done it. We've got out of it. It did cost us two black hearts though. Alright, deal with the devil, of course. Take a Polaroid. I, oh, I you know what? 
it's really risky, but I do think Gimpy combined with Demon's Tail maybe gives us what we need. So there's Cursed Eye, Piercing Shots with a Speed Upgrade, Tiny Planet, and the Scissors. I think uh, it's not even with a Speed Upgrade, is it? So you really find yourself being like, shit, take damage to take Tiny Planet, take damage to get the Scissors, or take Cursed Eye. I, sh I guess we use a bomb, grab this, get the fuck out of Dodge. It seems the best option, even though it's pretty bad. So, what are we hoping for with Gimpy here? Well, that enemies, as, as strange as it sounds... Oh, that sucks. We're hoping that enemies, uh... Pay out with a half red heart. That half red heart becomes a demon heart in some circumstances. Thanks to, uh... Thanks to our other option here, which is the demon tail. And by other option, I mean trinket, apparently. Uh, we don't really care about the golden horseshoe at this point. We're out of here, and honestly, I went from like, eh, it's a decent run, to, oh, it's pretty good, to, we're never gonna die, to, oh shit, are we gonna die now? Like, the Gimpy pickup was really a lark. It's a lark that I think should work out, and I'm, if nothing else, proud of myself for going off on some weird synergy here. This isn't just like, oh, homing tears plus high damage means your shots have high damage and they home. This is like... We got like four interactions working with one another here to try to make something happen. Is it worth three spirit hearts? Well, we're gonna find out. Keep in mind the Gimpy payout or the Gimpy item also has its own payout where if we get hit there's just a chance we get a spirit heart out of it to begin with. And that is weighted by luck, which we have improved slightly through Mom's Pearl, but that's that's it. Mom's Pearls, I guess. Not a good room to take damage on. Power Pill's quite nice though. Buys us a little bit more time. You know, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't slightly anxious about our situation right now. That is a payout, but it's not the Demon Heart payout. I can't help but notice. This would be a great time for a Secret Room Curse Room. Oh, you did it. The absolute madman. Oh, that's bad. Alright, be cool, be cool. Oh. Okay, I mean, poison bombs, I mean, for it, but... Is this the scariest situation? Yeah, it's probably like the world's scariest situation. It's probably like the scariest phenomenon on planet Earth. God, I hate this room. And that's the good stuff right there. I can't deny that, but... Be cool. Uh, Gimpy, why? Or should I say Demon's Tail, why? Bear with me here. I'm trying to use bombs to grab, like, a demon heart. Little did I know that uh, this is the worst room of all time to use power pill on. Because the enemies just run away from you, you have no chance to hit them. Should have used it on a boss, apparently. Okay, this could be our second secret room. Also, this could be us, but you playing. So let's check. Not gonna lie, like I appreciate the key, but I'm kind of looking for something a little more at this moment. And I'm not just trying to quote Clay Aiken's magnum opus. Big ups to like the little Gertie here for completely fucking me in a tiny circle. Somehow we still got out of it with our life intact. Wasn't thrilled about it though. I mean, we gotta check for the secret rooms here. As much as the odds are fairly low, we really need a demon heart ASAP. Lucky us. Don't step on the creep. Friends to the end is good. This could be a secret room. Shoot the fires. The fires must go. Oh my god, I almost got hit. <laughs> that was so close. Oh, it's a spirit heart. Oh, we're saved. One spirit heart. That should be good for the rest of the run, right, boys? Okay, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Never been uh, less afraid in my life. Blood pressure's feeling pretty solid right now. 
as in my blood is so high pressure that it's actually like literally solid. Um, as in it's, it's made a state change, you know, it's no longer a liquid, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like this is a tough call. Let's see what we got in here though. Well, that makes it easy. Um, do we want to fly or do we want flies? I think we want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby, etc., etc. So this obviously is not an ideal situation. And I would go so far as to say that uh, our gimpy gambit, as I like to call it, has not worked out fantastically for us so far. Any room that we don't have to do, we're probably going to shy away from doing. Really? Like, our damage is good enough that we might only need a couple of spirit hearts to win the run. But we gotta find those spirit hearts. Or alternatively, in this situation, we could uh, get an HP upgrade. It's one of the few situations in which I actually want an HP upgrade from our uh, from our judgment. Awaz rune. We'll check it and see, because I've got a fever of 103. Recycle? What the hell is that, man? Recycle? I'm, I don't know if I've ever seen you pay out with restock, to be honest with you. Maybe it's because you're in an arcade, you got like a different output pool, but I don't know, man. I want to see if this guy can pay out with demon hearts, because as much as it bores me to play him... Oh, never mind, he's dead. Uh, as much as it bores me to play him, he could have been the ticket to our success. We also, I realized I'm an idiot and I should have used the chariot card to play the uh, demon judgment in there. And possibly could have gotten something out of it. That's okay. We can fly. Don't forget about the flying. That's a pivotal element of this whole shebang right now. I was actually, like, watching that happen, and I was very... Oh, God. Can't be paid out. Oh, God. Uh, I, I was like, I don't really want to use the white pony, because I think I'm going to put myself in a bad position after it's done. But I was like, we got to try, because it looks like we're going to get hit over here anyway. So this, we got Cricket's Head. That's a huge get for us. Is luck carrying us right now? Well, let me uh, bring on the illustrious Tina Turner to talk to you about that. What's luck got to do, got to do with it? Tiger Woods said you make your own luck, don't you? And that's, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever heard past like the, the exact start of the chorus of What's Love Got to Do With It by Tina Turner. So I can't really you know, do a, a fantastic rendition of the song. Also, she's got pipes, man, and she knows how to use them. Oh my god, we got probably Gimpy plus Demon's Tail to pay out there. Is this it? Is this Has the prodigal synergy returned? I'm expecting a little bit of backlash on this video because of the idiotic decisions that have led to this moment. But it's looking increasingly like we have a chance, but let's see. Nine lives, though. Nine lives. Oh, that's not nine lives. So we don't want either of these. Because they would literally kill us. And we can't really afford to go to the, uh, to go to the, uh, Dosh fight at this point. We have the keys, but it would, it would almost certainly kill us. There's a chance it wouldn't, but it would, it would not be for the best. Alright, that's... See, who said I got lucky on this run? That one tinted rock paid out with two keys when I really could have used some spirit hearts. So I'd say we're even on the luck department. Yes, sure, I've gotten uh, exactly what I needed to survive in some pretty opportune scenarios, but uh, it's not a big deal. We're even. Yo, that was a big angel, man. Blue fires are non-negotiable. There's a chance to get a spirit heart out of them, and there's a chance to get a spirit heart or a demon heart out of, um, out of the bomb that we use to crack them. The moon card. I mean, we don't have to fight the rest of this room, I guess, if we don't want to, but it's not that bad. We also got a demon heart for opening chests in here, so, honestly, this run, it seemed so easy, and I kind of, uh, blew it, but what saved us was holding on to Demon's Tail, so... That, that was nice, and I, I appreciate this a great deal. Technically, if I was the world's most boring man, and I didn't respect your time, um, we could just use Infinity Bombs, the Golden Bombs that we just picked up, to uh, just keep bombing until we get to maximum Demon Hearts. 
That is, like, not fun to me. So... Would I rather lose than do it? No, I would, I would probably rather win, but I would bitch about it the whole time. So until that becomes a necessity, let's, uh, let's not sweat it too much. We're not really even incentivized to use our bombs too much beyond that because uh, our actual damage is extremely good. Thanks to, you know, Mom's Knife 2020, Cricket's Head, etc, etc. So up to five bombs now. Seems like a great room to pop Lemon Party on. Would have been great to use it on the boss as well, but this just helps me not get rushed down. Although I remember now that we have uh, the ability to fly, so I should have maneuvered, but no harm, no foul. You really, like, there comes a point in every young Isaac player's life where they take mom's knife and almost die. That should be like a wake up call. You're living life too fast and loose. No spirit, or no tinted rock on that room, but we did get a demon heart. Um,. Let's let's fight Isaac, honestly. That was very dumb of me, but hey, come on. Okay, we got a battery charge. That's that's something. I don't think we want to use the pony's active effect here. Because we'd be too close to the wall and possibly take damage immediately upon using it. This one we can though. Yeah, that got the job done. Alright, let's head down to the next floor. Only five demon hearts is not a ton, but you know what? Maybe it's nice. Keep me on my toes. Keep me on my toes. My toe, my toe. Tech point five, good. Oh, dude, it's Pyromaniac. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Judas' shadow is great as well. Like, we, we actually could benefit from the respawn. Uh, but the fact that we have Pyromaniac and now cannot be hurt by Curse of the Tower is awesome. We also can't be hurt by bombs. It's not as good as it would have been if it had shown up a little earlier, but it's it's certainly good. The big get there, though, is, is probably Tech X. Um, or possibly Mysterious Liquid. But if we end up using Judas' Shadow, it's definitely, like, the most important item we picked up there. And Pyromaniac, who knows? Who knows? It does mean that uh, Curse of the Tower is no longer going to be deleterious, which is pretty important for me. All right. Ooh, 10 wins in a row. You're crazy for this one. We're not actually that crazy for this one. But um, I, I really feel good that maybe after 10 wins, you can officially be like, we've gotten over the, the post-streak hangover. Like, we're in our own new streak now. That we can, you know, be totally fine with. This is its own baby. It's no longer in the reflection of our old streak. Now it's its own thing. You know, it's it's bought its own property, it's got its own equity, it's living life. Northern Line, why do you talk about equity so much? Because equity is the coolest shit in the world. What's your dream job? If you didn't answer, do nothing and make $10 million, you are lying to yourself. Oh, I want to save the Galapagos Turtles. By all means! That's a great hobby. But wouldn't it be better for your job if you were like, I'm just making $10 million for doing nothing and I can go save the Galapagos Turtles? That's what equity is, man. That's why the elderly and other people of financial security are always going on about, hey, you know, housing prices, interest rates, blah, blah, blah. They're making money for sitting on their bums. It's the world's worst kept secret. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.